Early in the season, the fall of 63, the preacher of the gospel one day come to me. He says, my clever fellow, how would you like to go? For to spend a winter a lumbering in Michigan, I owe. Oh, so boldly I stepped up to him, these words to him did say. I'm going out there a lumbering, depends upon the pay. If you will pay good wages, my passage to and fro. I'll go spend a winter a lumbering in Michigan, I owe. Oh, if I will pay good wages, I'll pay your passage out. Providing you sign papers that you will stay around. Oh, but if you do get homesick and swear it home you go, I'll not pay your passage over to me, again, I owe. Oh, and by that kind of flattery, we think it's quite a train. Oh, some twenty-five or thirty young hateful bargain men. Oh, we had a pleasant voyage on the road we had to go. Oh, they landed us inside the North Pole, Michigan, I owe. Oh, they sent us in a country the road we did not know. Orders up on the rifle river in Michigan, I owe. Oh. <sighs> ain't nothing but a pecker pull. You fellas should be able to handle it. Well, looks like it's break time. It's about time. You're gonna have to take over for a bit. Sure about that? I mean, this is your outfit. Well, we're behind schedule. We just gotta get out of these woods. If I do this, I'm doing my way, there ain't no turn back after that. All right then. Hey, what you lollygaggers doing? Let's get back to work. Should never come here. This was a mistake. Well, that might be. But as a side rider, I don't think no gandy dancer such as yourself is in the best position to be talking back. We well, be counting the tides. Yeah, you want your money, same as the rest of us. I can't wait to take my cut down to the brothel in Ludington. Have you seen Mary? Huge titties. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Many strokes through with the little axe. Hew down and fell the hardest timbered oak. Last spear, Captain. You hear that? That's a reminder to keep moving. Timber! Well, we're just about done here. Winslow, Chester, Jacob, you three head back to camp, pick up the horses and the skitter. Riggs, you're with us. We'll get everything situated for them when they get back. Sounds like he's got some skeeters in his under breeches. Thank you.
Timbers are ready. And they ain't back yet. They probably came to their senses and got the hell out of here. And we should do the same thing. Don't be foolish. They ain't been paid. Well, maybe the wolves got them. The skitter's only a couple hundred yards out. We would have heard screams. Jackins? Winslow! I think they left without us. Well, we just ran out of time. I'm just gonna have to wait for him till morning. Well, what are we gonna do now? I just told you, we wait till morning. We camp here and we wait till morning. Jesus Christ. Ain't there wolves in these woods, Arthur? Yeah, there are. It's not like we got a nose bag or nothing. We don't need to worry about them. We build a fire, we find them more. There ain't no way I'm sleeping out here. Not among these cursed timbers. Me neither. We stay here, we camp here, and we wait for Jenkins and Wiz to come back in the morning. Look, we don't want to sleep out here in these woods. Last thing we need is an old widow maker taking us out in our sleep. We wait here till the morn for the buggies. We'll be stuck here all day. Cougar's Den's about a five mile hike, straight south of here. If we get moving now, we can make it in a couple hours. This ain't up no boat. I don't run no democracy. I'm in charge, remember? Y'all won't get paid, don't you? Staying in these woods overnight. You fellers can do what you want, but I'm scrambling back to the bunkhouse. He can get lost out there on his own, Arthur. We should go after him. Damn it. Can't afford to lose a man. Let's catch up with him. Talk some sense to him before he gets too far away from Skid Row. We're lost. Probably just walking in circles. Damn thing ain't working. It's spinning. Now what I tell you boys, you should just stay back there and camp. Alright, let's go up here before we get too far away from Skid Row. We're gonna need to be found by the main group tomorrow. Hey Riggs, we're camping. Well, I guess we ain't got no choice now. Damn, some big claw marks. You reckon them wolves will leave us alone? It's like I said. We ain't got no fixes or nothing. What the hell would they want with us? I don't know. The taste of flesh? What? You think these wolves just go about hunting men? Pfft. Come on now. You don't stay calm? Shoot. That's how you get yourself killed. They ain't got no souls. No morals. No nothing. They're animals. I don't know. I think they got souls. Last winter, my dog got rabid, and I had to put her down. And as her time was near, and she looked me in the eye, there was something there. Might not have been the same level as a man, but there's something there. I like to imagine her up in heaven with my wife. God rest her soul. That's nonsense. Just sharing my experience. There ain't nothing there. There ain't nothing nowhere. We're all just meat to them. Dogs included. And if 
if they're hungry, who's gonna stop them? So I take it you're not the guy for your time. Like me. We got the six shooter. I reckon we can fend them off if they do become a problem. They hunt in packs. Good luck taking them all on. Sure, you might get one or two. It's alright. He says we ain't got nothing to worry about. I best to get some rest. I come up with a plan of action in the morning. Now y'all. They prey on the weak and isolated. What do you think we are? Now what you going on about? You think a ferocious beast has a soul? They'll rip your throat out. They just trying to survive like we are. Only difference is we got a gun. This is Indian territory. This ain't the white man's land. Ain't never been, ain't never will be. Bones buried beneath this earth. They ain't just gonna let us have it. They ain't just gonna let us come and do what we want with it. We came here for the same reason. And it ain't disturb no engines. It's to cut some timber and make some money. I know you ain't no short staker. The axe forgets what the tree remembers. This ain't exactly honest work. And you can feel it too. We ain't never done a job like this before. This... Jippo, at least. We're out here cutting timber like we're stealing it. And you know it. At least you're going home to your sweetheart with some coin in your pocket. And that's all it is. We're out of whiskey. I gotta take a piss. Daylight in the swamp! Where's Riggs at? He ain't here. He was here last night. He went to take a piss, I think. You got blanket fever, don't you? You boys done got drunk last night, didn't you? Well, he must have just wandered off on his own. He said he didn't want to camp out in these woods anyhow. Now, I like getting drunk just like the rest of y'all. But there's time and there's place for it. It ain't when you're lost in the little goddamn woods. Well. Yeah, that's right. You know damn well he didn't go wandering off by himself, now did he? I don't know what you mean. Hey, ain't that Riggs? Well, that ain't him, but it sure looks like his haversack. Come on. You best be finding that lost soul. Riggs! Riggs! Come on, Riggs! 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 Hey, why don't we get that out of your pocket? You used to work with a fellow named Derek. He goes by Eric now. Best to take that out if you want to save little Johnson. Riggs! Jesus, Arthur. We're lost. 
I don't remember crossing no river on the way up here. I think we're just somewhere out in section 37. This must be the mighty Manistee River. You think? 37. What are we gonna do now? Not like we can afford this some bitch. Survive. Sup, camp. Find no rigs. You left us some fishing line in this haversack. There's something funny going on here, Arthur. This guy's all whist and crooked. We've been out here for over a week already. A week? What you talking about? We, we might not ever make it out of here. Let me see that. I got something! Well, here we are again. Another night. Another night with death hunting us down. Them wolves. Them wolves was here last night. Look. I don't see nothing. It's the wolves. It's always the wolves crying the loneliness of the night. We're all just beating bones. Have some faith, Johnson. Faith is for Amen Corner. I don't see no cougar's den around here, do you? And why is it, do you suppose, that God create the night? So at daybreak, we can see the light. We see twice the light. We're day all the time. The darkness is eternal. God saw the light. And that it was good! Two for the land, one for the man. Two for the land, one for the man. Two for the land, one for the man. Two for the land. One for the man. Yeah! From now on, it's two for the man and one for the land. Got that? What the hell are you talking about? Ignorant rich. This is Indian Territory. This ain't the white man's land. Ain't never been, ain't never will be. my lord. That's a mighty deacon seat. And what brings thee hither, my dear servant? Don't remember calling for thee. I am here to escort thee to the beyond. Beyond this eternal spiral. Further than the grasp with darkness can reach. For the loss of hope has emptied the hearts and turned the day Tonight, with the touch of the creature, and at thy behest, dare 
I say. There cannot be an end to this night. Not without bloodshed. Fear not, my lord. Please, grab onto thy hand. For I have a pathway to salvation. I don't think this thing's gonna stay lit. Well, we could use the whiskey. Not the whiskey, all right. All right then, I guess we need uh, more wood. <sighs> that was our fishing pole, you asshole. I'm gonna kill you. Why? Just get another. Just get another fishing one. I'm gonna kill you. Well, right, then. to stay and wait it out for the other men. You just had to leave. I voted to stay. You're the one who wanted to leave. I said wait till the morning till the rest came. This ain't funny, Johnson. Voting. Thought you didn't run no democracy. You're the reason Riggs is gone. Riggs. You left them to the wolves. Uh, it's been you and me since we fell that last time. Have a drink with me, Arthur. I can walk the log, and I can fuck the dog. And I can drink muddy water from a greasy hard hat. tell that what you do in life echoes in eternity sure everybody knows that so now imagine living eternity from dusk to dawn and you're swinging an axe chop 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 split 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 chop chop <laughs> chop <laughs> the, the the foreman's walking around go faster man faster <laughs> chop 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 faster man faster yeah. <laughs> So even if you did a different task each day and you didn't repeat it again for a million days, you'd still start to get bored with the repetitiveness of it all. And what would be the purpose of it? You're there for eternity after all, and it seems to me in the vastest of affinity, even the heavens seem a lot like hell. You'd have to let the soul breathe. You set it free to be a man, like reincarnation. Help me recollect. Has it been a month already? It's been two months. 
last huh. month. We lost rigs to the wolves. I thought you didn't remember rigs. Yeah, the soulless man was brought down by the soulless beast. Yeah. We, uh, we spoke about the soullessness the night of our reconciliation with it, remember? No, I don't recall such a conversation. You spoke of your lost wife, her beautiful soul blissfully frolicking among the stars and the heavens. Then proceeded to state that beasts have souls in a place behind heaven's gate to graze peacefully among the lushness of the heaven's green pastures. You spoke of this. Deny not. Sure, Arthur. Sure. Twas Riggs who brought the subject up. Belief in souls and dogs and men didn't fancy much, did it? Surely as God made man from the dust, he too made the beast from the earth. All within it, split from the very soul that created every living thing. You know, I held to that belief. Lived my life under its understanding. Truth is, I never married. Though I call myself a married man, Mr. Johnson. My love was taken from me by a tempest that came crushing through our town. At night, when I sleep, I can see her in all her radiating glory. Forever frozen in time. Her skirts flowing in the tempest winds, dancing like the flicker of candlelight. A starry night tapestry. Christ, I... Let me finish! As I turn my head, I can see that the flicker of candlelight is nothing more than a reflection off a window pane. It seems to be nothing but a forgotten flame in God's eternal landscape. Our souls are not ghostly apparitions, dancing as angels upon the stars. Our souls are spread across this earth to feed her fecundity. Our souls become building material for new souls to emerge, recycled from the old. Bullshit! You can't tell me you can build such a beautiful soul as my lost love and then turn around and say her soul will feed another soul. Come with me. I want to show you something. Why'd you bring me here, Arthur? This, Johnson, this is salvation. This is where it happened. This is where my wife died. I know. You're gonna have to let her go. You're gonna have to move on, else be damned to live this life for all eternity. I want you to destroy my soul. Eviscerate me! Take my still beating heart and blow it into oblivion! Your soul cannot be destroyed! Your soul belongs to the Almighty! Unless you grab the torch of Lucifer! Johnson! Come on! Johnson! Johnson! Come on!
Months, years even. Me. Johnson? Johnson! 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 Johnny! He's been out here all night. Hope he didn't end up like that old chin whisker up in Leelanau. How you figure? Slumped over his plow. Dog tracks all around. Some say there's a dog man in these woods. That sounds like something from a kid's tale. Johnson! It's just ahead. This is a spot. Right here? How far could he have gone? It's only been about, what, six hours since you left him? Right here. Bubbling about with his cougar's milk. Question the intentions of God himself. Hey, come take a look at this. Where do you suppose that came from? Oh, which I will pay good wages. I'll pay your passage out, providing you sign papers that you will sail around. Oh, but if you do get homesick and swear it's home you go, I'll not pay your passage over to Michigan, I know. Oh, and by that kind of flattery, we enlisted quite a train. Oh, some twenty-five or thirty young able-bodied men. Oh, we had a pleasant voyage on the road we had to go. Johnson. Oh, they landed You're right. us inside the north of me. Never felt Again, better. I know. Oh, it's now a joy to Fellers, you want to go down to Ludington? I heard there's a brothel there with a hussy with some big titties. Oh, Mary, you heard right. Woo! <laughs>
should have never came out in these woods. This is <laughs> some fucking bullshit. How long have we been out here for? This ain't gonna have any audio. Two, three days. Tell me again. How long we've we been out here for? Four, eight weeks. Has it really been that long? It's been three months. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got the six shooter. I reckon we can fend them off, but they do become a problem. Ass.